All right, guys, so what we want to do today is do a walk around of this 2022 Commander Max that we've built. It's right behind me. So come on, join me, let's take a walk and I'll show you all the goodies that we put on this car. All right, so brand new car. Just finished putting some of the OEM stuff on it. Uh, customer wanted taller wheels and tires. Uh, they ended up not going with wheels and just doing tires on the OEM wheels. We did 30 inch uh, BFG KM3s. It's a really nice tire to have on this car, really sets it up. Let's walk around front. No, no bumper add-on or anything. We did do 10 inch light bar on the bumper. That's from Baja Designs. We did try to get it tucked back as far as we could behind the bumper so that it's not sticking way out there. And that came out pretty good. Now this car is gonna have a couple of other accessories on it, but we don't have them yet. They have been hard to come by from Canium, so we were waiting on those. Um, in the so in the meantime, we put one of the Canium hard-coated windshields on just to get the customer by, but they did get the power flip windshield, so that is what will eventually get mounted on this car once we get our hands on one. We were able to get our hands on the full roof rack for this car. We did tons of lighting on it. This customer goes out in the woods late at night, they said, so they wanted tons of lighting around the car. So up front, we did the 39 inch double stacked light bar from Can-Am. And then as we make our way down the rack, we did two pairs of the S2 Sport work scene lights from Baja Designs, one on each plate side plate there came out really good we also did on the back a pair of the squadron sport pod lights from Baja design and those came out really good we actually added a threaded insert to one of the existing holes in the rack instead of having to clamp anything to it they just mount right to the rack which was kind of cool came out with that. I'll show you see if I can get nice and close. Just thread it right into the rack right there, which is cool. Got the lights there. Alright, so let's take a walk. Uh, let's go inside the car and check it out. <laughs> So inside the car, first thing off that you'll see is the heater defrost system from Canium, OEM kit installed by us. The other big one that we did in this car is the stereo. It's the wet sounds full stereo from Canium. We also added the subwoofer to the car. Uh, what's cool is, is you get four speakers, one in each corner up front one in each corner in the back. And then I'll walk around to the passenger side. But you also get the sub that takes up the glove box. Now some people don't like that because you do lose the storage. Some people don't care because the sub really makes this system hit. It also gives you the equalizer for the sub so it's and i'll tell you what this thing slaps for an oem system most of the other mtx systems that they'd offered in the past have not been that great so i was really impressed with this one and just how loud it gets and crisp and clear so a couple of pods and i think last but not least is just the oem hard-coated rear windshield or rear window if you will um 
Can-Am. But overall, this car came out pretty good. Only other thing that we're missing is the power flip windshield that you guys will see eventually. So, all right, thanks for watching this one. Uh, we'll get back to you on the next uh, build and what we've got coming up in the future. Thanks for watching.